days. That's just spirulina. So I'm going to show you, we have a basket full of things here that you need. Potassium iodide, I would encourage anybody to get on potassium iodide. Um, we sell a product here called Iodorol. Um, this was hard to get in stock last year when the things in Japan first went down. Uh, it is available now again, hopefully. If people don't uh, freak out, we'll still be able to keep a supply of it. And there's uh, 12.5 milligrams of iodine per tablet in this product. It's a great product. It's up on our website. Um, we also have this product here, iodine with kelp. It's a liquid sublingual, uh, 2 milligrams of kelp per serving, and 150 micrograms of iodine from potassium iodide. Um, not really the high dosages that somebody would want uh, in a serious incident, but this would be probably a good daily uh, guide to use if uh, you want to protect your body. So that's two things. Um, then the spirulina, which I'm getting into here, and the chlorella. Chlorella and spirulina are kind of a, a tandem. And chlorella functions much the same way as spirulina, but uh, chlorella has an even higher chlorophyll content. Uh, spirulina and chlorella are both extremely effective at uh, building the blood um, and strengthening the immune system, detoxifying the body. They detoxify the liver, the kidneys, the colon. Uh, they build the blood. They nutrify the cells. So those are definitely items that uh, I would take a look at and I would consider adding. Uh, some more information here on chlorella. Going back to uh, the story that I have here from Mike Adams, uh, this is much like spirulina. Chlorella is loaded with an astounding array of vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that help detoxify the body of heavy metals and other contaminants. Uh, the single cell algae also helps to prevent and repair DNA damage, balance the body's pH, fight inflammation, improve digestive health, and boost immune function. Um, and again, though, getting into the radioactive issues with it, this is a 1989 study put forth by the Czechoslovakian Academy of Sciences demonstrated that chlorella effectively increases production of bone marrow and spleen stem cells and in tests chlorella greatly helped improve survival rates among mice irradiated with the least lethal dose of radioactive gamma rays. Uh, here's another one. In 1993 researchers from I don't even know how to pronounce this university some weird name in India uh, found that chlorella is effective at protecting against and mitigating the damage caused by both acute and chronic radioactive damage. Another one, a 1995 study published in, in the Indian Journal of Experimental Biology found that when administered before or upon exposure to sublethal radioactive gamma rays, chlorella helps to boost levels of colony forming spleen cells. Such, such cells exist within the bone marrow and are essential for production of vital blood elements and immune factors. So I could spend all day just on spirulina and chlorella and the purpose of this video is not really to get into you know, great detail, it's to highlight some of the things that you need. Um, if you're looking for a product, again, I, there's a lot out there on the internet. There's tons of stuff that's in health food stores. Uh, if you're looking for a very complete product, we have something available called Green Gold. Uh, Green Gold is a 100% certified organic product that's made uh, by Seven Lights that we sell. It's up on our website. And uh, this product contains uh, 192 milligrams per serving of spirulina and chlorella, which is 100% organic. It also has a uh, cereal blend in there of alfalfa juice, wheatgrass juice, barley grass juice, and oat grass juice along with uh, some other compounds. It would be a phenomenal product uh, to get on on a daily basis. If you weren't even worried about radiation, it would be a phenomenal product to take. But with radiation, if you want spirulina and chlorella in your diet, uh, this would be a great product for you. So those are some of the things that we have there. Um, another product that has been found to have tremendous um, anti-radioactive properties in the body is wheatgrass uh, and barley grass. I should really say all the grasses in general, but most of the research you're probably going to find out there is either going to be on wheatgrass or barley grass juice. Uh, for the sake of, of this video, I'm going to just highlight the wheatgrass juice. And um, 
wheatgrass juice. It says uh, many tests are being made which point to a chlorophyll wheatgrass rich diet affecting the survival of experimental animals undergoing lethal doses of radiation. Uh, in 1950 there was a study done that uh, showed that uh, wheatgrass juice increases the resistance of guinea pigs to radiation. People that are exposed to x-rays or various other uh, radioactive elements have been found to uh, benefit from wheatgrass. Similar to spirulina and chlorella, I think that all these greens kind of have a similar effect on the body. Some may be a little bit more targeted. Uh, so wheatgrass juice would be another phenomenal product to be on if you're looking to protect your body, detoxify your body, um, protect your liver, all of these things. And we have probably one of the best products you'll find on the market. It comes in either a powder or capsules. We have uh, Heavenly Greens. Uh, Heavenly Greens is a 50-50 uh, blend, or not a 50-50 blend, it's actually a 65-35 uh, blend of wheatgrass and barley grass. Um, we have Kamut, which is a form of wheat, and wheatgrass and barley grass. So really it's three grasses, but the Kamut is wheatgrass. And Heavenly Greens, if you don't like the taste of the grasses, we've got it in capsules. Be a, a phenomenal product. Again, be great for your pH, be great for your overall health. It's great to nutrify your cells, but if you're concerned about radiation, if you're concerned about what's happening with Japan, be a great product to uh, add to your daily diet. Uh, definitely another phenomenal product. Maybe many people don't know about this is oregano oil. And uh, you can actually go to, again, National Institutes of Health. You can print this out for yourself if you want. The NIH website, this is the effect of gamma radiation and oregano essential oil on uh, ATP and uh, E. coli bacteria. And this study found that um, oregano oil it says the study was carried out to evaluate the effects of gamma radiation alone or in combination with oregano essential oil. Um, and this study shows that oregano oil benefits people. Um, and I'm trying to find some other stuff here which I don't see. But oregano oil was also used uh, on a lot of people that got tumors and cancers uh, after the Chernobyl incident and it's been used uh, pretty effectively. So oregano oil, again, would be another great product. We sell an oregano oil. Uh, I sell it in a liquid and in capsules. Uh, the liquid, I don't think there's going to be too many people that can handle the liquid. It's so potent. It's really more for a, a cold or a flu when you start feeling the scratchy feeling on the back of your throat that you would put it straight on your tongue. But uh, if you're looking to get you know, a daily dose of oregano oil in your body that you can take to protect yourself, then uh, you'd want the capsule version. We have one here under the Seven Lights brand, uh, 120 veggie caps. We also have it in a 60 veggie cap. Oregano oil is a phenomenal product to be on. Selenium is another tremendous product. Uh, and I'm not talking about the cheap, junky stuff you can go get from, from uh, your local drugstore or, or mass chain store that's going to be $1.99. I'm talking about whole food grown selenium. Uh, we sell almost the entire line of innate response supplements. Innate response is the leader in the industry for manufacturing whole food grown nutrients. Uh, and by whole food grown, they basically take a, uh, a broth medium of uh, a strain of yeast called S. cerevisiae in Latin. And that strain of yeast is kind of put into a medium and they actually add these nutrients and as it goes, it's it's almost like brewing beer or something that you know the the yeast and the in the medium there will actually produce these nutrients and they have a way of extracting them out and putting them into a supplement so you're getting selenium the way you would get it in food which has the enzymes the amino acids 
and the pro 